Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to texture paint inside Blender. First off, make sure you have 4.2 plus. I'm going to be using 4.3.2 in this tutorial. The reason being the, the brushes that come with it. Now I'm going to head into viewport shading mode and as you can see, we don't have a texture yet. And I'm going to add a new material and I'm going to try to paint. But as you can see, it keeps saying missing textures. So the reason for that is usually either you don't have it unwrapped or you don't have the texture linked to your material. Now my skirt actually is already unwrapped. I did this manually. That's not the problem. If you want to unwrap something, basically you select the edges and mark seam. And if you also are in a bit of a rush, you could just do unwrap smart UV project. That way um, it happens more automatically. Now that said, let's hop into shading mode. We're not going to be using principal shader for this tutorial. We're going to be using emission shader because that has that anime uh, shader feel to it and isn't affected by light. Then we're going to drag out and add an image texture. You can decide how big you want it and what you want to call it. So I'm going to call my skirt texture and have it be 1K. Now everything is set up, we should be able to paint. So I run into a little bit of a problem here and I can't really see my tools, but this is a great moment for maybe you guys to learn as well. And if you find this problem happening, you can just change to paint mode. And also, if you have a dotted line, you can simply just change it to space like this. If you want like a more coherent line. Now also make sure you select everything, that way you can see the topology in the 2D window. And also make sure you're inside paint mode and you have the right texture selected. Also make sure that you are using mix as a blend mode and you have 100% in strength. Now I'm going to use the fill tool. It's a little bit hit or miss inside Blender. Sometimes it does it based on topology. Sometimes it just fills in everything. But we're going to start by filling in everything white. Now I'm going to add in my reference here. And if you want to add a reference simply shift A and you can add an image reference. Just beware that once you do, it'll do it based on your view. So as you can see now, it's a little bit off. So if you delete it and pop back into orthographic view, it'll be fixed. There you go. You can also change the opacity of the reference layer or reference image. This is great if you're doing modeling based on reference. You can of course also change the parameters. Now I'm inside viewport shading and we can start to paint. I'm also just gonna show the wireframe because this is a low poly object and I want to paint based on the topology. If you don't know what that means, don't worry. I'm just gonna paint so it makes sense when it comes to the crevices and, and the edges. So a good tip is to Paint with a little bit darker but saturated color, especially when you do anime style like this. So I'm just gonna paint this in. Don't be afraid if it goes a little bit outside the object, that's actually fine. And you don't want it to be 
too too much inside of it, if that makes sense. Or if it goes outside. Now, I noticed here, looking at the reference, that it didn't look quite right. So I'm going to smudge out and blend the edges a little bit. With the newer versions, you have these fancy brushes that you can play with compared to the older versions. And that's also why I wanted us to use this version in this tutorial. So going forward. Yeah, I'm, I just uh, reduced the color. It's not so harsh. One thing I, I noticed here is I started to use the reference and did the color picker based on the reference in the background, but it was a little bit hard to get over there. A much easier way to actually color pick using, using Shift X is actually to change the image to the reference image in the 2D view like this. That way we can much easier grab the colors. And I just hit X to grab both of them and swap between them. Then I just paint it in. It ended up a little bit big, but I think it's fine still. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of detail and shading. It's not in a reference, but I think it looks nice, so I'm going to keep it. Instead of using a race, I actually use white. I just have white as my secondary color and swap between X. As you can see here, I actually used the command key E because I was thinking I was inside a drawing program and I started to erase, but if you did that, you can just change the brush back to a mix shader instead of an alpha erase. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you can texture paint inside Blender. I hope that was helpful and I hope to see you in the next one. Oh, and be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more.